Gabrielle, I'm Je fais de la place, mais je pense qu'il va nous falloir une autre armoire de toute façon. Emily in Paris season 2 could have mined the dramatic tension of the love triangle between Emily, Camille, and Gabriel, but for some reason, it doesn't. Gabriel and Emily's romance is integral to Emily in Paris season 2, making it all the more baffling when the show sidelines it for other storylines. Lily Collins' Emily Cooper found herself in quite the predicament when, in season 1, she fell for her neighbor and local chef, Gabriel. In a moment of passion, Emily kissed Gabriel before finding out that he was dating her close friend Camille. This only continued in season two after Emily and Gabriel shared a passionate night at the end of season one, with Emily assuming that Gabriel was leaving Paris for good. Incredible night of sex that I've ever had in my entire life. After Gabriel decided to stay in Paris and Emily received a worrying message from Camille, it seemed like Emily in Paris season two was setting up a major conflict between the three. This played out somewhat, with the tension between Emily and Gabriel continuing before reaching a fever pitch, after Camille discovered Gabriel's omelette pan in Emily's apartment and realized the two had a brief affair. Camille swore off the two of them shortly before reconciling with Emily. My boyfriend who fucked my fake friend. The two also promised each other that neither of them would give Gabriel the time of day, and, for a while, Emily and the show followed this promise. The show diverted Emily's attention away from Gabriel, even though it was quite clear that she was in love with him. This included a relationship with Emily in Paris's season 2's newest character Alfie, a British transplant Emily met in her French class. Ultimately, this relationship didn't amount to much. By the end of Emily in Paris season 2, Alfie was on his way back to London, and Emily was ready to profess her love to Gabriel. This all made Emily's avoidance of her romance with Gabriel and the show's avoidance of this integral plot a disservice to the audience. A move like this ultimately begs the question. Is Emily in Paris not capable of mining a situation like Emily and Gabriel's for the dramatic tension it is worth? Created by Darren Starr, who is also the creator of Sex and the City, Emily in Paris has been known for its breezy and somewhat rosy perspective. One could argue that this is what made it so popular in the first place after it was released in October 2020 in the middle of the pandemic. Still, Lily Collins and Lucas Bravo's chemistry is undeniable, and their relationship is one of the strongest aspects of Emily in Paris, and Starr's previous work on Sex and the City and other series shows he can balance dramatic tension and romantic comedy. That's why Emily in Paris season 2's sidelining of the plot makes no sense. While Camille and Emily's broken friendship was played up for tension for some time, it was seemingly quickly resolved. It was clear, though, that there was still some bad blood between the two, but this was only hinted at through side glances and quips. The back half of Emily in Paris season 2 could have been entirely about this love triangle, as Emily tried to navigate Camille's business relationship with Savoir, her newly repaired friendship, and her lingering feelings for Gabriel. Instead, season two gave audiences a romance for Emily that went nowhere. Ultimately, it revealed that Camille never intended to keep her promise to Emily, an unsurprising twist that could have been better set up if the show had chosen to hone in on the dramatic potential of the situation. Emily!